In this video, I'll continue to discuss more examples on binomial distribution. Let's try another example. Past records show that 3 out of 8 customers at a supermarket bring their own grocery bags. If a sample of 12 customers are selected at random from the customers in the supermarket, determine the probability that more than 2 customers bring their own grocery bags. Since we are going to find the probability that more than 2 customers so the variable can be defined as the number of customers where the observation is customers. The success criteria is the customers who bring their own grocery bags. And the number of customers comes from the 12 customers in the sample. So the random variable x follows binomial distribution with n is 12 and the probability of customers who bring their own grocery bags is 3 out of 8, which is 3 over 8. To determine the probability that more than 2 customers means probability of x greater than 2 and by using the Binomial formula, when we calculate, it is equal to 0 0.8865. Question B. Find the probability that more than two customers bring their own grocery bags given that at most eight of the customers bring their own grocery bags. This question is a conditional probability. So, the probability that more than two customers bring their own grocery bags is x greater than 2, given that, that is stroke, at most 8 of the customers bring their own grocery bag, that is x less than or equal to 8. From the formula of the conditional probability, it is equal to the probability x greater than 2 intersect x less than or equal to 8 divided by the probability of x less than or equal to 8. The values of x which is greater than 2 and less than or equal to 8 are the value of x which is started from 3, 4, 5 up to 8. So, x is in between 3 to 8, included 3 and included 8. To find the probability, we are using the summation of the binomial formula where the lower limit is 3 up to the upper limit is 8. For probability x less than 8, we are using the summation notation where the lower limit is 0 up to the upper limit is 8. When calculate, the answer is 0 0.885. Question C. Find the probability that at least 5 samples have at most 2 customers bringing their own grocery bags given that 10 such samples are taken. Since we are going to find the probability that at least 5 samples so, the variable can be defined as the number of samples, where the observation is samples. Since the observation is different from the variable x, so now for this variable, we are going to use the different letters. Now, we are going to use the y to represent the number of samples, where the samples with at most two customers bringing their own grocery bags consider as success. And this number of samples comes from the 10 samples given. 
So now the variable y follows the binomial distribution with n is 10 and the probability of success is the probability where there are at most two customers bring their own grocery bags. So before we can find the probability, we need to find this probability of x less than or equal to 2. The probability x less than or equal to 2 actually is same as 1 minus x greater than 2. The probability x greater than 2 can be taken from the question A and when we calculate it is 0 0.1135. So now we have the distribution of variable y with n is 10 and the probability of success is 0 0.1135. Then next, we are going to find the probability that at least 5 samples, which is the probability y greater than or equal to 5. And then we are using the summation of the binomial formula, where the lower limit of y is 5 up to the upper limit of y is 10. So when calculate, it is equal to 0 0.002897. Next example, a bias coin is toast four times and the number of heads noted. The experiment is performed 500 times and the results are summarized in the table below. From the data above, estimate the probability of obtaining a head when the coin is toast. When the total frequency is large, Frequency divided by total frequency can be considered as the probability of the corresponding of x. For this question, the total frequency is 500, so which is sufficiently large. Therefore, when the frequency is 12, 12 divided by 500, then the probability is 0 0.024. When the frequency is 50, 50 divided by 500, the probability is 0 0.100. When the frequency is 151, so 151 divided by 500 is 0 0.302. 200 divided by 500 is 0 0.400. And 87 divided by 500 is 0 0.174. In this question, x can be defined as the number of toses where head is obtained out of four toses. From the table, we use the formula E of x equals sum of x times the probability of x to find the value of mean of the distribution of x. So when x is equal to 0, probability is 0 0.024. When x is 1, times the probability 0 0.100 when x is 2 times the probability 0 0.302 when x is 3 times the probability 0 0.400 when x is 4 times the probability 0 0.174 and when calculate the answer is 2.6 since this question satisfies the conditions of the binomial distribution so, x follows the binomial distribution with n is equals 4 and since the success criteria is obtaining a head, then p is the probability of obtaining a head each toes and this is the value that we are going to calculate in this question. From the calculation just now, e of x is equal to 2.6. Since x follows binomial distribution, so e of x is the mean of binomial distribution which is equal to np. And n is equal to 4, so when calculate, p is equal to 0 0.65. So therefore, the estimate of probability of obtaining a head is 0 0.65.